Hey there everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. So in this video, I am going to cover a really important container from the standard template libraries of C++. As you can see right in front of you, this is Vector. So first of all, I'm in no mood to create an entire playlist on the standard template libraries because first of all, there are so many out there. And then you have a really good resource to read about these containers and algorithms. This is C++.com. So you can come here, read about any container, any algorithm that you want to. Everything, every information in detail will be present here. Now, what I want to cover in this video is the internal structure, the internal implementation of these vectors inside C++ because this is a very major question in during your interviews. So let's say you're writing a code, you are creating a vector of int. Then your interviewer might ask you that why did you create a vector and not an array? So you will have to tackle that. So you can say that a vector is dynamic, like you can change the size of a vector, you can create a vector of a specific size and in case you want to add more elements and if you want to remove few elements from the vector, you can actually do it. Alright? And the arrays are fixed in size. You cannot add more elements into a vector, I mean into an array once you created an array of specific size. This is one of the reasons. Second, that how these vectors are implemented in C++. So for that, I'm going to take an example. So I think let's just go to the, uh, directly to the code and see. Then I will tell you how these are actually implemented. So I'm going to create a vector here. A vector of int. Vector of int v. Alright. So let me just see out the size of this vector. and let me just see out the capacity of this vector let me add an and l over here okay So most of the people who are explaining the standard template libraries, they miss out this information to actually explain the internal working of these structures as well. They should do it because these are frequently asked questions during the interviews. So here we have the size and the capacity both as 0, 0 because we just created a vector. We didn't initialize it. We didn't insert any element into this vector. So as of now, the vector that we have is of size 0. So I'm just denoting it as this one. The capacity and the size both are 0. I will tell you what is the difference between capacity and size in a moment. So let's go back to the code. Now let me add one element to this. V dot pushback. You know the function pushback? It's going to just insert one element. V dot pushback 1. We are inserting one at the back of the vector. Okay. Let me now run this one. Now both the capacity and the size is 1. Okay. So we will keep drawing it parallelly. Now this is the size, this is the capacity, both are 1. Alright. Now let me explain you what this size and the capacity mean. Let's say you have a glass of water. Okay. So how much water can come into this glass? It can come up to this point, up to the brim, up to here. So this is the capacity let's say 1 liter. 1 liter is the capacity of this glass. This is the capacity. Now let's say if we at the water level, if we pour water into this glass and the water is up to at a certain position here. Now this much water is there inside the glass. So this is the size. The size of the water or the, cap uh, or, uh, the amount of the water that is there. This is the capacity of the container. This is the amount of water. So size is the amount of elements, the number of elements which are there inside a vector. And the capacity is the total number of elements that that vector can accumulate, that vector can hold. Alright, so let's move on. Let's add one more element at the back. So v dot push back another element 2. Now let us see what is the size and what is the capacity. I think both are going to be 2 in this case. Yeah, both are going to be 2. Now let's say we add one more element. v dot push back another element 3. Now let us do the same operation finding the size and the capacity now the size is 3 and the capacity is 4 now let us add one more element at the back so we are adding just one more element and in this case 
the size and the capacity both are 4 now let me add one more element for the sake of clarity uh, 5 the size is 5 the capacity is 8 alright now let me explain you this phenomena so initially the size was 1 the capacity was 1 everything was clear then we add one more element alright we added one more element to this now uh, I'm going to tell you that these vectors are actually implemented using arrays behind the scenes so this was an array of size 1 we had an array of size 1 we filled that with one element okay now if you want to add one more element what can we do can we add can we add one more element into an array we already discussed that we cannot so that is why we are going to create another array which will be twice the size of the previous one so it will be of size 2 and we are going to delete this array from the space now we have another array before deleting we will be copying of course this element which was at the first position we are going to copy and that element was 1 now this space is empty we are going to delete the previous array and now what we are going to do we are going to add the new element that we wanted to okay so we added 2 now in this case the capacity and the size both are 2 next let's say we added 3 so in this case this is an array of fixed size we cannot add more element that is why we are going to create a new array which will be twice the size of the previous one so it will be of size 4 of size 4 we will be copying these two elements 1 and 2 so the capacity of the new array is how much 4 but we are just adding one more element that is 3 okay so the size will be 3 but the capacity will be 4 and one space will be left now we will be deleting the previous one so we will delete this one alright so here the size is 3 up to this point and the capacity is 4 now we can add one more element that is 4 so if you want to add 4 we can simply add it uh, in this case the capacity is not going to change but the size is going to change because size will now come at this pointer at this place of 4 so the size and the capacity both are 4 now now let's say if you want to add one more element at least as we did in the example so for that we will have to create another vector I mean another array that will be twice the size of the previous one it will be of size 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is of size 8 we will copy the four elements 1 2 3 4 we will delete the previous one and the we will add the fifth element what's the capacity in this case so the capacity in this case is 8 what is the size the size is 5 as we saw here all right so these vectors are implemented using arrays only but the only difference is whenever the size of an array reaches the capacity we are going to create another array and that will be twice the size of the previous one and all the elements on the previous array will be copied to the new one and some spaces will be left for new elements to be added so that's about the implementation of vectors in C++ now if you want more such videos if you want me to explain more such standard template libraries containers the function the functionality of those containers do let me know in the comments if you want me if you don't want me to create such videos you can let me know in the comments as well and and if you are preparing for your coding interviews you can go to the channel and you can watch the and you can try solving the questions from the easy medium and hard playlist and you can also solve them company wise if you want there are many topics from the comparative programming which are covered as well and the topic wise questions as well now there are I think more than 150 questions which I have already covered and I am still doing it so I am uploading videos very frequently so if you don't want to miss out those videos make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification as soon as I upload the video so be consistent in solving questions and I hope you are going to crack your dream company very soon thank you